In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself. When the soldier who was guarding him, three days later he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason then I have requested to see you and speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I bear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with the complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just. He loves just deeds. 
the upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper, and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the Lord spread, so the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. Just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and he has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but these were to be described individually. I did not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Gospel, by the Lord Jesus Christ. Why do people compare themselves to other people, especially when they see someone is better than themselves? Jesus had already predicted Peter's fate, that he would suffer and even receive martyrdom on account of Jesus, on account of the Gospel. Then. Peter asked, what about John, the evangelist? What about his faith? Jesus had given both Peter and John a separate task. Peter was given to lead the church which he established here on earth. That was his mission and thereby testified bear witness to Jesus before the world. And Peter did through his crucifixion. He was crucified upside down at his request. And thereby glorified Jesus, glorified God, and bore witness to Jesus, our Lord. What about John, the evangelist? John actually lived longer than all other apostles. In fact, he went all the way to his 90s. But he was also given a mission. And what was his mission? To write the fourth gospel and thereby testify to the truth, to bear witness to the reality of the resurrection of our Lord. So, both Peter and John as well as other disciples were given a specific mission, especially to bear witness to Jesus before the world. The same mission we also have, we are also given through our baptism, those who follow Jesus and live according to the call they received. They have to bear witness to Jesus before the world by the way they live. 
And that is what we are called for. To show Jesus, to proclaim him who he is, that he is the son of the living God, who came into this world to suffer, to die, and rise again, so that we could be freed from the power of sin and the darkness, from the power of death and the power of Satan. And thus we become God's children and live a righteous life with the God in his eternal kingdom. That is our mission, to proclaim Jesus who he is before the world and live a righteous life so that through our faith in the Lord Jesus, we will receive forgiveness of sins and also eternal life with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity that they may always follow Jesus, listen to his teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and members of our parish community, that they may get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intentions of this Mass. This Mass is being offered for, the, for Frank Kowalski and also for the recovery of Bishop George Murray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and your goodness in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you the fruits of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of his walk and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit, the wine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and speak for my sin. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. May the Holy Spirit coming near, we pray, O Lord. Prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us cherish in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts be pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Come, pray, we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Blaise Servitz, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Frank Kowalski, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
I disable this command and form to be divine teaching. We are there to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed to hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours in event forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. receiving of your body and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me the judgment and the condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in my and the body and the healing for the Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, beholding Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the communion song. The Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with the former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and God bless you and have a wonderful weekend. For our recessional, we will sing, I know that my Redeemer lives. Song number 454, 454. <clears throat> I know that my Redeemer lives, what joy the blessed assurance gives. He lives, he lives, who once was he leaves my everlasting head. He lives to bless me with his love. He lives to please.